Hi everyone, Brian here. Hope you're all well. Uh, I'm well, apart from the fact that I've just had the mother of all coughing fits before um, coming on air. Coming on air. Listen to me like I'm broadcasting to the millions. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? Um, anyway, I've got my tea here to help me get through this video without having another coughing fit, which would be unpleasant for all of you, I'm sure. Hmm. Yogi tea, so let's see what the message is. Be proud of who you are. That is Yogi T's message to you and to me for this video. Um, and this video is going to be uh, a review, the first probably of uh, maybe three, two or three uh, review videos of tarot books. Since my last tarot video, which I uploaded um, the other day, yesterday I think, um, a couple of people have contacted me to say, um, you know, how did you learn the tarot and where would you recommend that I start in learning tarot? So what I've done is I've put together uh, some thoughts about my favourite tarot books, the books that I've used uh, time and again um, throughout my tarot journey and as I've learned tarot. And I'm going to start in this video with what I consider to be some fairly basic uh, books uh, and then in, in another video we'll move on to um, books that are a bit more uh, scholarly and advanced. Um, and the basic books are going to be um, split between introductory books, books and then also some books that are perhaps a little bit more uh, practical and pragmatic in terms of how you can how you can use them. So without further ado we'll start with my first uh, book choice which is Choice Centred Tarot by Gail Fairfield. Uh, this book is now available under another name, Everyday Tarot. It, it comes with a purple cover but the contents are the same and this really is I think an excellent book and probably I would say is is one of the two or three books that if I had to only have two or three tarot books this this certainly would be one of them. Uh, what I like about it is that it, um, it it approaches tarot in a very practical pragmatic way so Gail Fairfield uh, certainly doesn't reject the idea of tarot having a metaphysical dimension but nor does she uh, propose the idea that you need to believe in anything supernatural or metaphysical or even spiritual whatever that means uh, in order to be able to use the tarot constructively and actually she she uses it almost in a therapeutic way uh, she gives very clear uh, ideas about what the different numbers in tarot mean. Uh, she gives very clear ideas about what each of the different um, charts, uh, each of the different um, major arcana cards mean and there's useful charts and, and um, uh, diagrams in here which can actually help you to remember uh, what means what. So she'll go through uh, different meanings for numbers and so on. So let me just read you what's on the back of this to give you a flavour of the book. Choice Centre Tarot emphasises the psychological meanings of the tarot explaining tarot imagery that can be applied to any of the multitude of decks now being used. Gail Fairfield shows how the symbols on the cards reveal powerful insights that can be used for greater self-understanding, giving the ability to make insightful and responsible choices in all kinds of life situations. With unprecedented simplicity and clarity, Fairfield presents the tarot as a tool for personal empowerment, for in introspection, for clarifying issues. A tool for making choices, hence the name Choice Centre Tarot. And I think that is a very good description of the book. So if you're looking for something practical that allows you to get into tarot quickly and in a very effective way, uh, this would be a great start. Another good introductory book and one that's very popular is this book by Anthony Louis, or Lewis, Louis probably, um, with illustrations by Robin Wood. It's the Robin Wood deck that is used in this card to illustrate it and that, that's a, a, a nice deck. Um, it's quite a comprehensive introductory book so it goes into each of the cards in detail. It takes uh, probably a slightly more metaphysical approach to tarot than uh, the Fairfield book does but it's still very practical and pragmatic and it still gets you right in there in terms of how to use the tarot. Uh, it's very well written, very clearly written um, and is another great introduction. Another good introduction if you really want to just dip your toe into tarot would be this one, Tarot Your Everyday Guide by Janina Rene. Uh, this takes a very practical advice based approach to tarot. So rather than approaching it from uh, a divinatory predictive point of view, 
this very much looks on the tarot as a way of receiving advice. So when you do readings, and the readings in here that are suggested, uh, there are several different readings suggested and spreads that are suggested. It looks at each of the cards in the context of if they appear in that reading, what advice is the tarot giving you? So it's very good for practical problem solving. Uh, and it says here, every day you make choices. Some are big, some are small, but all will affect the course of your future. Reading the tarot for advice requires a different approach than reading for a prediction. And Tarot Your Everyday Guide presents a new method of tarot interpretation. You'll learn how to use the tarot to help you make an informed decision and determine a course of action for just about any life situation. So another good introduction. Um, I'm going to mention two books now that I suspect some tarot purists may sneer at. And that's partly because they are structured in a way uh, that makes tarot reading slightly mechanistic and maybe overly simplistic. And I know that some uh, tarot enthusiasts won't like that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that these are the best books to get, certainly as a beginner, um, but they are useful if you really want to see very quickly how a tarot reading uh, and how a tarot spread can be used to divine information. Um, and they are, I'll start with this one, the Tarot Handbook by Hadjo Banzaf. He's written some other uh, books as well. And what's different about this book is that he uh, he proposes a particular type of spread. So only really one spread is used in this book. And let me see if I can uh, find you a diagram. So there is the spread. So there is the spread. It's a seven card spread with the cards in very specific positions within the spread and what he does I'll adjust the light back up so you can see me I hope that's not too bright what he does is he um, then gives you the option of uh, exploring what each of the cards mean in each of those positions so if you do a reading and, and ask a question and you use that spread then what you can do is look where your cards lie where they land in the spread and then see what uh, meaning derives from that particular placement. So as an example, here's the Ace of wand, Wands and um, in this in this book you'll see that each of the, the each of the positions within uh, the spread that he's given, the seven card spread, um, is interpreted here as though the Ace of Wands appeared in each of those positions. So if it was in position one or two or three or four you could look up which position it was in and it will give you the divinatory meaning as well as an overview. So it's quite useful if you're not used to tarot spread um, tarot spreads and tarot reading and if you want to see how they work. Uh, a similar book is the Instant Tarot Reader. Uh, in this book it works on the basis of the Celtic Cross and then what you would do um, for example is you would look at the uh, spread, you would see uh, where, you, where each card uh, was positioned. So let's say for example the outcome which is num card number 11, let's say that was the Hermit you would turn to the Hermit page and you would look up the number of the position, uh, which is 11, the, the um, outcome, uh, and that's there. And then you would read the divinatory meaning that he has provided. And in this case, its introspection will lead to maturity and self-reliance. Mastery may be attained. You may want to follow a leader or path that requires total concentration. An eccentric or older person may become important. Now, I know that a lot of tarot readers will balk at the idea of using this kind of instant approach to tarot. But if you are interested in getting into tarot and you want to have a sense and a flavour of how it works and to see how cards are interpreted in particular positions, then I actually would say that this is... Um, uh, these these are quite good books to get because they give you a good flavour of that. I'm not suggesting at all that you use them as your only tarot books. And in fact, I would very much suggest that you don't so that you can develop your own awareness and um, uh, approach to the cards. But don't turn your nose up at them just because they are uh, somewhat um, uh, overly structured, shall we say. It's worth having a look at them and just almost peeking behind the curtain to see how tarot readers interpret particular cards in particular positions. Because the people who've written these books clearly know uh, what the tarot is, they know how it works, and they do interpret the different cards in the correct positions. 
The difficulty, of course, is that part of a tarot reading is about looking at the interactions of cards. It's also about your own um, intuitive engagement with the cards. So uh, this, these can only take you so far. And uh, really what you want, if you want to go further, is something that will, that will uh, allow you a slightly more sophisticated interpretation. And with that said, I'm going to um, close this first video uh, with two books, which are actually one book now, which are considered by some to be the Bible of tarot reading. And certainly I would say that if you are interested in finding your way into the Rider Waite Smith deck, then you can't go at all wrong with Rachel Pollock's 78 Degrees of Wisdom. These are available now as a single volume. Um, I picked these up second hand and they were split into uh, two different volumes for the Major and the Minor Arcana and this, this second book also includes information on how to do read it, readings. And really you won't find um, a better in-depth introduction, particularly to the Wade Smith deck, although other decks are, you know, the, the interpretations here apply very much to other decks as well, and, and she does include in the book uh, some interpretations and pictures of other other decks. Uh, but the depth of the understanding uh, of the symbolism and the depth of the under, understanding of the tarot uh, in 78 Degrees of Wisdom is very high although it could still be considered an introductory book. If it was your first tarot book, I don't think it would put you off. Uh, but if you've been a reader for a number of years and you want to delve deeper into the tarot, then certainly it's also a really good book to have. Uh, and Kimberly, if you're watching this, I know that you're interested in exploring the Wade Smith deck. And I would say to you that if you get this book and a copy of the Wade Smith deck uh, and work with them, then in no time you'll have a really rich and deep understanding of the tarot. Now in my next video I'm going to go on to uh, slightly more intermediate intermediate books uh, for tarot and also because we're running out of time in this video I'll talk a bit about the pr more practical books that I was going to originally talk about here but uh, I, I haven't got time to do that. So um, in the next video we'll go into intermediate uh, slightly more scholarly works and we'll also uh, look at the more practical texts as well. So hopefully see you there.